Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Super Tux Cart in Slackware 13.37, otherwise known as Slackware Leet, as the as the common joke going around is. Anyway, um, you can find Super Tux Cart on slackbuilds.org. Uh, it is, however, not the latest version. And I'm not sure how far behind that is. It's a little bit behind. As you can see, the latest version is 0.7.1b and the one on slackbuilds.org is 0.6.2a. Now, this mainly applies to Slackware, what I'll be talking about, but having said that, because what we're actually downloading is not the source for Super Tux Carp, but rather the... Um, once my slow net actually loads, it's actually the static binary. So basically you're downloading a, a tarred up uh, archive of the game, which you'll extract, and you can basically run it straight from the folder. There's no actually, there's no actual real installing process, and by static and binary it means it's got all the most of the dependencies and everything that it needs within that, within it, within that folder. So there's not, thankfully, especially if a Slackware in this case, most of the, all the dependencies, all the little libraries it needs, is included in that binary. So there's not too much work to do, but however. Uh, also, just a quick um, uh, thank you to Jinxie Wolf, I believe, for uh, suggesting this to me. He um, had a slight problem compiling a certain part that he needed to play this game, and, and asked me to check it out and see if I could uh, see if I could have any luck getting it working and all that sort of thing. And then, you know, if I can post my results. And so, um, yeah. Anyway, I've got it working, and I've actually have to say I really enjoyed playing this little game. It's actually quite cool. And uh, so, thank you for that and a heads up and. Hopefully you can get it working anyway. Also, apologies if I've pronounced your name wrong, so just <laughs> let me know. Anyway, so getting to it. So anyway, go to this site, download the static binary for whichever architecture you're running. So 64-bit, 32-bit, of course, if you need to check uh, which architecture you're running, you can just go to your terminal, type in uname R, actually, no, sorry, uname A, and you'll see in this list eventually you'll see either x64 64 bit or just you know the 32 bit so anyway moving on so you don't actually need anything for this game you'll download it from there from this site you'll go to your downloads folder and you will see you will get the .tar.bz2 file it's about 95 megabytes compressed you will extract it so you'll open it up with your default archiver program, or you can do it for the terminal, whichever you're more comfortable with. If you know how to extract through the terminal a tar file, you already know how to do it, so there's no much point in me showing you. Anyone? Um, anyway, it takes a while to load, but you'll get a folder here. You'll just extract it to your to here, and you'll get you know a typical folder. Now, you can keep the game in your downloads folder and use it here, or, of course, you can move it somewhere like your games folder which is what I've done so this is actually the folder this is what you get with the game so this is exactly what you get after you extract the archive so in this case you've got the bin folder which has again like I said all the library files that it needs and the actual executable for the game but you don't run that executable you simply run this script here which is important of course because it actually it tells the game to use all the libraries within that bin folder so it doesn't go trying to use your you know, your shared libraries from within your own system. And of course there's a data folder and all that, that fun stuff. Anyway, but first of all, before you start running that game, you must have the Arishit engine installed. Now this can be this part you can install from uh, slackbuilds.org. That's what I did and this is what this is the uh, let's see. It's an open source high performance real time 3D engine written and usable in C. You've got to have this. Uh, I installed this one from this very site. Um, you can do, you can use this one. Just a second. You can, of course, uh, do it the classic way by downloading the source file and the Slack build and doing it manually. Or, of course, you can go if you've installed it. You can use SBO package, of course. Search for it. Oops could actually spell it right of course and then you go you'll find it there and then you can you can build it install it and for me that worked just fine um, yeah it worked just fine what can I say 
so this is the engine you download install that it installed just fine for me let me know if it doesn't for any reason but for me you know with my build of slackware that it hasn't you know it's not terribly bloated it hasn't got you know a heap of stuff installed it's not that far off stock but a little bit but nevertheless it installed just fine for me and it, it seems to be pretty self-explanatory it has everything it needs anyway so you install that then you should be okay but however I think like I said, this is specific to Slackware, but it should be okay for another distro that's not, let's say, that's not uh, distro specific. So let's say the Arch Linux, the Debian, that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, Slackware, FreeBSD, that sort of thing. There's, so that it should just work after you've got that engine installed on most other distros. But however, with Slackware, there is one more thing you've got to do. The game will complain with at least with my Slackware, about a missing file. It's a library. Now you've got two choices to get it, and I'll just show you. The library itself is called libgss api underscore krb5.so.2. That's the library that this game does not actually come with. I assume they assume that most systems have it installed, but Slackware does not by default. So you've got a choice. You can go back to, to your Slack builds and you can find it here, the KRB5. You can install this and then you can either of course uh, go to your go to user Kerberos, that's what we've, that's what you would have just installed, that's the KRB5 lib and you will find it here and then you can simply create a link, send it to your desktop and then you can copy it from the desktop into your into your super tux card dot bin folder and then the game will work just fine or if you don't want to feel like doing all that I, I think I'll, be, I'll just provide this in a, um, a file hosting link in the description below so that's what you will need and you must make sure this is in here on Slackware otherwise the game will not run but once this is in here the game runs just fine so that's all you have to do so just a quick just a quick overview again make sure you can download it from here from the super tux super tux card dot sourceforge dot net download the full game, the static binary, it's just the one size fits all, easiest way of doing things. You'll need to make sure that you've got the game engine installed, the Irrelicit game engine, make sure that's installed, and then finally you'll need to make sure that you actually copy this library file into the bin folder. So if you need any more help, again anyone just ask me in the description below, uh, comment sorry, and I'll try and help you out. Anyway, other than that, all you have to do then is simply go into your games folder, make sure you're in the actual folder, and just simply making sure, of course, that the file is allowed executable. All you have to do is double click on it, and the game will run. As you can see, lovely. I've tested and I've unlocked a few, a few um, ch uh, challenges and trophies and all that sort of thing. I'll give you a quick demo now. I can hear sound just fine, you won't because I'm using a headset with a microphone and you basically can't hear anything that I'm hearing out of my computer, but uh, maybe I'll overdub the sound with one of the files from the game's music folder or something like that. Anyway, I'll just give it a quick little test, so you can see that it works just fine. This is just on Slackware, like I said, I'm using proprietary NVIDIA drivers. All I did was install the game, the game engine, the Irrelicit one, of slackbuild.org, and of course got hold of that library file that the game needs. So anyway, let's go. As you can see, it's a very um, surprisingly nice little game. It's had a, quite a bit of development in the last few years. Um, I've got it pretty much maxed down, I suppose, but it probably will look a bit more jittery than it actually is on the screen recording, but it actually runs very smooth for me, and it's very pleasant, very nice, and kind of relaxing to play, really. But fun, and I highly recommend giving it a try. I mean, even if you, you know, it looks like it's aimed at a younger audience, it's no big deal. It's still a bit of fun, and I don't mind playing it. No oh dear, I got blown up. Anyway. 
So yeah, like I said, you can't hear the sound probably, but the sound's just fine. And looks like I got shoved in the face, so I can't see. I've got a um, plunger in my face. It's a lot of fun. Oops. And those little bottles are nitrous bottles, by the way, so... I'm actually playing with a gamepad because it detected it right out of the box and that just seems really good, it seems to work with it really nicely, it, it laid out on my buttons just fine and it, yeah, it's lovely. Oh yeah, and like I said you can't hear it but uh, it's a pity because the soundtrack's actually surprisingly good, it's actually quite a good soundtrack in this game. does seem to be, whoops, that's interesting, <coughs> excuse me, but it seems to be quite a, uh, a good, you know, nod to Mario Kart, it's uh, really quite worthy actually, you'll notice a lot of familiar tracks are obviously, you know, modelled after the Mario Kart tracks, but yeah, it's well worth trying guys, so hopefully you can all run it, and, uh, <coughs> excuse my failing voice, yeah, give it a shot. And I'm on my last lap, so am I winning this? I can't. No, actually, I'm losing. That's interesting. I've been winning most of the races. Guess I wasn't concentrating too hard. But anyway, so there you go, guys. Good fun. Uh, there is a, a ton of tracks. And a few are still locked. Tons of tracks. Tons of challenges, actually, in the championships. And a whole lot of fun, whether it be you know, you want to try it yourself, play it with friends, or just give it to the little ones to play, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. So anyway guys, as you can see it works just fine. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thumbs up, rate, comment, subscribe, and if you need any help just ask away. Thank you guys.